Grew Scott, Karen Lamb here from the Grafenbeer and Vilsack um, Thrift Shops. I'm a thrift shop volunteer, a military spouse of 27 years, a special education teacher, and a huge shopper at the thrift shop. Here to show you our next project that you can do at the thrift shop. And this one is near, as an educator, near and dear to my heart because um, as the holidays are coming up and you want to um, give a gift to those special teachers or coworkers and you know, what, what do you really get them? This is one of my favorite things getting um, as, as a teacher and it literally costs pennies. So what it is, is there, these are special pencil holders, and I'll tell you why they're so special in a moment. But before we get going, just remember that at the thrift shop, we have um, directions for everything that are written and visual so that your children can help you. And then on the back, we have how to extend the learning. If you're using this project with a child on how you can extend this to hit all the different academic areas. So, go to the thrift shop and just get those too. Great for lesson plans, all you teachers out there. I'm doing the lesson plans for you. So in these special pencil holders, what you're going to need is um, a cup. Um, and the thrift store always has beautiful crystal, um, um, which I like, but there's, you can use a coffee cup, you can use a mason jar, you can, I love, love, love these parfait cups. These make fabulous, um, um, pencil holders. Um, and you know, if this is a teacher's gift, this would be a great time for your children to go with you, um, spend their money and pick out this for the teacher. So it really is a gift from them and it'll make the teacher feel a lot more special. So what I'm going to do is you simply take a cup and you can use rice or lentils you can get lentils in all sorts of different fabulous colors. Um, I'm going to use rice here just because this is just what I what I had. And if you're using this with children, what I would recommend to get that math component in is there is give them a bunch of um, measuring cups and say, I want one half cup in there. I want one cup or a fourth cup and let them learn those fractions doing this. But what you're going to do is you're going to simply, you, I guess you wouldn't even need your, the, this, but you're going to simply fill your cup about two thirds way. This is what's gonna make the pencil stick. And here, look at what I got at the thrift shop the other day. I got a brand new package of holiday pencils. I can't believe that, right in the package and simply have your students stick them in. Isn't that pretty that as a teacher, you know, I used to go through about two gross of pencils a year. And so anything that you can give the teacher by way of um, school supplies is so welcome. But you put these in there and it looks absolutely beautiful. Oops, I'm trying to do this too fast. Or if you want a little bit more, you can just take regular pencils, um, washi tape, works really good if you know your teacher, if you're going to uh, like Vilsack High School and you had purple or maroon washi tape, you could really make this, um, those school colors, that would be awesome. And then once you're, you're, um, you, you're done with that, you obviously the most important part, if this is a gift, is to give a, uh, put a card on it. And what I like to do on these cards, and I got these at Teddy, but last year I got all my stickers here from the thrift store in their, um, in their crafts section. Somebody had a whole bunch of these tags, put a hole in it, and um, I put a sticker on that because they never give you enough room to write the name on it. And especially if you're doing with the, the kid, they get so frustrated give them some space to write. And then what I like to do and what is so meaningful is on the back, have them write or you write to your coworker why, what you appreciate them. It just has to be one sentence. I appreciate or I like or something like that. Take a little cord. Again, I got this, actually I got this from the free section at the thrift shop. Can't believe that. Cut it off. String it on. And tie around. You know, if you wanted to do something extra, um, if it's somebody really um, 
really, really special to you. You could even stick that gift card sticking out there. That would look um, cute too. Now, why are these so special as a teacher? Because if a child made that for me, that's gonna go on my desk. And when a, another child comes and says, Mrs. Lamb, I need a pencil. And like I said, I go through grosses of it. I'm gonna say, you may go to the desk and take one of my special pencils. Just by doing that, I have found that I have saved over two thirds of my pencil because once a child knows that something is special to you and it's displayed well, they find value in it and they take care of it. So that's, you can actually use that to um, teach you know, that, that moral lesson as well to your students. Um, so here is a gift. Now, now if the rice is gonna come out, what I, what I do is I just take, this and I have, have your child wrap, you know, and stick this in here just so that when you're bringing it to school, you don't have rice or lentils, you know, all over your car. Um, and stick it, stick it in the bag. And I, let me tell you, that will be your one of your the favorite gift that your um, teacher receives, especially if it has that note attached. Now, again, if you have non-traditional learners at home those that maybe have um, a motor difficulty or sensory difficulty, and you need some more help in making this project meaningful for them, make sure you contact the thrift shop because I would be happy to give you tips on to help them to do that. And remember, when you're shopping at the thrift shop, you're not only helping your entire community at large, but your neighbors and your family as well. So I hope to see you all at the thrift shop. See you later.